Uh, my name is uh, Malcolm Manx. I uh, run a hay contracting business in South Gippsland. We run two round balers, four or five tractors, uh, do silage and hay. And uh, I was given the opportunity to test drive a M135X Kubota tractor. To start with, I was a little bit skeptical on how it would perform you know, in relation to uh, the brands of tractors, but uh, once I got to drive it for a few days, I started to change my thoughts on the way it performed. With the engine, uh, it's a four cylinder diesel motor. Um, I'm used to six cylinders, so I didn't know how it would go. Uh, last week I put it into some very hilly terrain, um, as you can see in South Gippsland. By the time I finished baling in the paddock, it was just as good as what I was used to. Actually performed equally as good as uh, any tractor that we run at home. The motor's got heaps of torque, just hangs on and hangs on. A few times I tried to kill it, um, wouldn't happen. Uh, with the eight speed power shift transmission, I found we had a speed for every sort of different job that we needed to do. With the baling, you can go from flat terrain into hilly. We always had a gear that was in the right speed for the application. I've had a smaller Kubota years ago with the bi speed. It's excellent. When you're climbing up a very steep hill and you want to turn right on the, the top edge, the four wheel drive, 45 degree turn, just pulls you around the corner. For a tractor of its weight, it actually felt a lot safer, like I had a heavier machine underneath me. I've got very minimal wheel slip. It was always positive, you know, pulling up a steep grade. And with the weight of the, the bale in the round baler behind me, um, I didn't get any wheel slip at all. Cabin's very comfortable. Um, air conditioning is excellent, even on a very hot day. Uh, the vents on the side are always in the right position, so you're actually getting, keeping you nice and comfortable. The seat is nice and comfortable. The layout of the different um, switches and your control, four-wheel drive, everything is just right at your fingertips. The front suspension totally eliminates any power hop. In the hilly conditions that we encounter nearly every day when we're out baling, uh, we haven't got a bale kicker on the back of the two balers, so we have to reverse. Quite often we have to find a level piece in the paddock to put the bale out, and I found the reverse, forward reverse shuttle is very smooth, and it's exactly in the right position on the steering wheel. It's just a single finger control. You don't even have to think about that. It's just there in the right place all the time. With my experiences over the last few days with the tractor, when it comes time to trade in one of my other tractors or even put on an extra machine, I would seriously think about replacing one with the Kubota.